this video I'm going to cut and file a piece of key steel to fit into a keyway. Key steel is often used in industry and on many machines. It is used mainly for couplings but can also be used for wheels and other applications. In this demonstration I'm cutting a piece of key steel for this wheel that fits on the end of this steel shaft. To start off you need to measure the width of the slot in the shaft. In this case it is 10 millimeters wide. I'm just checking a piece of 10 millimeter by 10 millimeter key steel in the slot to ensure that it is a tight fit. I have already measured the depth of the slot in the shaft and also the taper bush which are both 5 millimeter. I'm now colouring the key steel. You can do this with engineers marking out fluid or a permanent marker. This is so that you can see the scribe line easier. Once you have measured the slot, if you get a drill bit of the same diameter, it should have an almost identical radius. So you can use this to scribe around. You can now see the radius that you need to file down. Tighten the key steel in the vise and then proceed to file down to the scribed mark using the technique shown in the video where I am turning the file as I push it away. Key steel comes in many different sizes. You can get square key steel or rectangular key steel in metric or imperial sizes. In most cases the key steel will be either square or rectangular but in some instances you might need a stepped keyway which will have to be milled down on a milling machine. I have to point out that this is a rush job that I did during my lunch break as it was requested by a YouTube user. I'm on site and I don't have much time and also I do not have all my tools which is why I'm using a screwdriver instead of a scriber. Normally I would not colour the key steel or scribe it. I would normally just file a radius onto the key steel but this is to help people that may never have done this before. After a couple of minutes you will have a radius on the key steel. You can keep removing this from the vise to check it in the keyway at regular intervals to ensure you get a good fit. Once the key steel is a good fit in the keyway we need to mark the length. So I'll place it in the slot and mark the length then mark the radius again using the drill bit. Now cut the key steel to length using an axaw. Place the key steel in the vise again and proceed to file down the other end using the same technique as before where the file is pushed forward and rotated at the same time until you have a radius on the end. You can remove the key steel at any point to check it in the keyway. Once you are happy with the fit, you can then insert the key steel into the keyway. To do this, you're going to need a nylon hammer or a copper mallet as you do not want to hit it with a steel hammer as you could damage the key steel, making it harder to get the taper bush onto the shaft. You might have to give it a few gentle taps to get it all the way home. Once the key steel has been knocked in as far as it will go, you can take the coupling or wheel in this case and align it with the key steel. This can then be pushed to the correct position. You might need to tap it on the shaft again using a nylon hammer or a copper mallet. Once it's in the correct position, you can tighten the grub screws, which will pull the wheel tight onto the tapered bush. It's important to tighten the grub screws equally, so that the wheel is tightened onto the tapered bush equally. The grub screws also need to be tight to prevent them from working loose during use. I hope this video has helped. I'd like to thank you for watching the video.